I wanted a cool little hot rod to go the distance and do the deal. The big major modifications you can do over a long weekend at home with very realistic tools. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. Today we're back up in Simi Valley with my friend Steve Strope, Pure Vision Design, and we're digging into a subtle car. So yeah, I built the car to drive, to cruise, to drive cross country. So the car is a 1964 Olds Cutlass F85. It's not even the super neat 442, but it was exactly what I wanted. What I wanted to start with was a car that I can outfit to go drive cross country and enjoy myself. So the rest of the plan, I kind of was looking at doing this thing called Project Long Weekend, which the whole ethos was all the modifications, the major ones, like the upgrades to the suspension or the cooling or air conditioning or stereo or sound deadening. All of that can be done over the course of a long weekend. Get home at 5.30, start working on the car, wrap it up by, by Sunday. The parts list on the car is very straightforward. Uh, a Hotchkiss TVS suspension with their two inch lowering springs. The motor is the little 330 V8 that came in the car. I got what they call a little RV cam, mild performance cam and lifters, an Edelbrock intake, an Edelbrock four barrel. When, when we open the hood, there's a, it's a, I actually, it's from Spectre. I got it at Pep Boys. It's a dual snorkel intake. The carburetor gets outside fresh air. Uh, I've got a nice, simple 200R four speed overdrive automatic in it. I decided to pull the body off the frame, which is more than the guy at home. Still doable, I've seen people do it at home. Restored the drum brakes in the back, factory discs in the front, and then uh, GM brakes off of a, like a 1LE Camaro. And uh, had a nice paint job put on it by Mick Jenkins. Get That's paint. where I decided to step up. I was uh, getting some pizza at a friend of mine's pizzeria. Parked out front was a Mercedes S-Class and I just loved this color. It's called Glacier Blue and it's beautiful against stainless and chrome. The car is pretty straightforward. I, I put attention in the suspension and the steering and the braking so that I can repair it. It gives me the feel I want, gives me the ride height I want. The headlights are hella, so at night, because I'm planning on driving this screen cross country, there's plenty of major highways that don't have lighting. So having really good safe lighting was very important to me. Moving into the interior, there's a little more going on. My gauges were custom done by Dakota Digital. They look stock, but at night glows like a brand new Lexus. Uh, it's, such a, it's such a godsend for me. Lighting again is huge to me. So when, when I open my glove box, I can actually see inside of it. That lets me go to the seats. So the seats are really special because they're out of a four-door Porsche Panamera. So we took about eight inches off of the back so that now they look like a bucket and I can drive and say it's cold out, I turn on my seat heater. I drive and I'm comfortable and I can see my gauges and I have a nice, simple, reliable drivetrain. It's pleasant to cruise. And there's little things for me too in the door panel. There's a, there's a medallion. I was walking around Disney with my daughter and she gets the Disney pin. And if you get up close to it, it's the, uh, the cursed treasure. Pirates of the Caribbean actually fits the interior perfect. And then for you guys in the Volkswagen and Porsches, you'll recognize the floor mats, they're cocoa mats. And those things are indestructible. When we get out on the road, this is smooth. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. This is exactly what you went for, was a car that you can get in, turn the key, drive it, enjoy it, beautiful. Yeah, what a cool car, dude. I mean, really. And it just sits straight on the road, no problem. I do love the, and I'm sure people that watch the video, because a lot of the people that watch our videos they do build their own stuff, you know? Sure. And there's builders that watch. The, the ingenuity and creativity in this, I think a lot, of, a lot of the viewers are gonna enjoy. Your version of simple, to me, is 
extraordinary. I mean, this is... Isn't that nice? It, God dang, it just drives nice. So get it up to like 60? Is it 63? So there's enough power. Doesn't need a lot, but that's... Yeah. But the steering's nice and neutral. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah, you can you can you can do what you wanted. You can I mean like if you're doing a long trip, I'm sorry, you don't want to be like this the whole time. You yeah. don't want to be white knuckle. Yeah, I mean this is really you built a bitchin' cruiser. I mean it's yeah. a total cruiser. Gosh, I'm in love with this thing already. Yeah. Right? That's what I wanted when I was in it. I wanted to enjoy it, not have to manhandle it. Which I can build and I have those cars too. And totally. those have, those are fun too. There's a purpose but to not, them. But not driving it all not... the way to, to Utah, no. Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. Not at, I mean. You get exhausted. It is, it's tiring. I've, I've driven them and they're fun. I, I enjoy the ballistic cars, but they're they're short distance cars in my opinion. Well, right, because you're, you're focusing so much, you're not enjoying beautiful scenery or driving or hanging out or cruising. Yeah, yeah. This car, nice. Drive it. Put the window down, put your hand out the window, it'll look freaking cool. Yeah, know? yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's a whole deal, it's just cruising. All the little tweaks, again, focused on what did I want? I wanted to enjoy driving. Yeah. I wanted to enjoy cruising. I wanted a cool little hot rod to go the distance and do the deal. Yeah. And be fun. And yeah. I think I got it. I'd say so. And you said you've already driven it, what? I've already put, I've already put like something? three or 4,000 miles on it, yeah. It's just great. I really like the, the gauge cluster. I mean, it, you know, it kind of almost looks Stock. original. Except for the little tachometer reading. As always, it's a genuine pleasure getting to shoot with my friend Steve Strope and his wonderful builds that he does. I absolutely love this simple, creative olds that drives amazing. And a big thanks to you guys for continuing to support the channel. Look forward to shooting lots more and we'll see you in the next one. All right, you guys, later.